Hello, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you about my Texas Star Hibiscus plants. I planted seeds last year and grew two plants because I was doing some research and I found out that hibiscus uh, flowers, if you dehydrate them and make tea out of it, it will help to control your blood pressure, something that I have inherited. So I'm always finding ways to keep my blood pressure down. And those two plants that I had, I divided them, and now I have 12 plants. The other thing I want to talk to you about today is my eggplant. These plants have been growing all summer, and they are over six feet tall. And they set a lot of flowers and I said, wow, why won't they make fruit? So maybe I should hand pollinate them. And that's what I did on Monday. And now I've noticed that they're setting fruit. But I really don't think my hand pollination had anything to do with it. We were going through an extreme heat wave with temps as high as 109 degrees. And now that it's cooled off to the upper 90s, I think... That's why they're making fruit. Oh, bees are pollinating. Move out the way, Rhea. Bees are pollinating my blue hopper squash. Rhea, come here. Move out the way, Rhea. I'm going to go real close so you can oh, see. Fine. See? All the way up in there. Move, Rhea. Move. Stay out the way. Oh, it's, it's not going to bother you. Then Now it's going to one up here. Look at that. We're going to have some squash very soon. <laughs> Love it. See how you came by and it, went, and it just moved. <laughs> Interesting. What is that, Bria? What kind of berries are those? Goji berries. Goji, that's right. Thank you, Bria. Goji yeah. berry flowers. You're going to be able to eat some more real soon. I want to eat, I want to eat a honeybee. You don't want to eat the honeybee. You don't eat bees. I like honeybee because I like honey. You can have some honey, yeah. Okay. Here are my beautiful zinnias. I just love zinnias because... They are easily self-seed, and they will last until a frost. Thank you guys for watching. Bye now. Bye now.